Can you really trust a new company with their expensive earphones? Let's find out. So I'm gonna start with a quick unboxing first. That's how you cut a packet. That's how you take the box out. So basically I chose this uh, Bluetooth earphones because uh, there were hardly any uh, dual drivers Bluetooth earphones in this price range. And I've heard uh, really good things about uh, experiencing dual drivers. So the box mentions the price of 4990 but uh, I got it in uh, 2500. One thing I was really impressed about with the uh, packaging was the quality of the box. It was, it felt rock solid. So uh, basically it speaks a lot about uh, how serious they are about the packaging. If they're that serious about their packaging, they will be hell bent serious about their product. That can at least be the general assumption. So the first thing we find in the package is the booklet, uh, the manual instructions and everything is written on it. You can go through it. So the first thing we see is uh, the earpiece bundle and they are well fitted in the package. Looking closely at the earpieces, you will notice that the material is totally translucent and uh, they do have dual drivers in it. So it's not just a fake gimmick uh, it it actually has physical dual drivers inside of it and it is also bluetooth they actually look much better uh, when you see them in real rather than in pictures at first when i saw them in the pictures i was not sure if they are they will be really good looking or not but uh, they really really look cool when i see them now in front of my eyes and i really like them I really like the overall design of it. The box is really filled with a lot of accessories. The first one I picked was the Bluetooth wire. The points which connect to the ear pieces are gold plated. And uh, the other end is where the USB charging cable will connect. And we have the pause and play button and the previous and next button. They by default work as volume keys. They have also supplied with a USB charging cable. And one of the best things which comes with the package is this 3.5 mm jack cable. So if by chance your Bluetooth battery dies and you don't have a charger nearby, but you still want to keep listening to your music, you can plug them in in your earbuds, earpieces and connect it to your phone and continue listening to music. So basically uh, with this package, with this deal, you get best of both the worlds, wired or wireless, which is a rare option. And with it, uh, we also get a case. It has a very velvety feel to it. Decent enough. The earpieces feel of really top-notch quality. The build quality feels very good, and uh, but without good sound, they are they will be away. So I'll get to that shortly. Really concerning of them to show how to pull the wire, pull the earpiece from the connector. This is how you uh, connect the connector, Bluetooth connector to the earpiece. Uh, make sure you, it snaps well inside and this is how you pull it. Both the earpieces have L and R written on it and uh, this end of the earpiece is supposed to go towards the back of your head and that's how you figure out which is the left side and which is the right side. So this is the left side and uh, as you can see this is how it is supposed to go inside your ear. Connecting the Bluetooth to the phone was pretty easy. You just need to hold on the center key. It will power on the Bluetooth uh, device and immediately you will see the X1 as if you are one of the available devices. You just tap on it and it will immediately connect to the Bluetooth ear pieces. And I think this was one of uh, my uh, fastest experiences of connecting any Bluetooth device to the phone. Got connected in the very first go, I didn't have to restart the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth wire connects uh, with the charging port is it connects to the other magnetic part of the cable so that you can just simply snap it in, check if it is properly locked and wear it uh, on around your neck like a necklace or garland if you are into those things. Trust me how convenient it will be when your Bluetooth battery just dies and you're carrying this 3.5 mm wire 2 with you and you just need to snap those earpieces in those and just continue to keep listening music. It's, it's going to be really big convenience. The wire is braided and it's pretty long and it also has the 3.5 mm uh, jack is also gold plated. Now I have been uh, listening to these earphones for a week now and I have compared the sound quality of it with uh, many of the earphones which I 
uh, use on daily basis and most of them are wired. Uh, one of them is Sennheiser CX-180, the other one is CX-275, uh, same from Sennheiser and the third one is Sony MDR-XB 70 AP, yeah that's a mouthful. I minded that these three earphones uh, are wired and they were expensive at their time and some of them are still expensive. Uh, but I am actually very surprised that the AMX X1 is able to provide not only a very balanced and crisp sound, the clarity, the balance of all the mid, high and low levels are very balanced. Uh, and even at extreme volume, the full volume which my uh, phone can produce, there was no distortion in any of the music I've tried and put on it, be those YouTube videos or my MP3s at 320 kbps. So I'm actually very surprised to see that a Bluetooth dual driver setup uh, in this price range, which is offering us consumers, Indian consumers, uh, a one year warranty are so good. I'm actually very astonished. And uh, if you read some reviews or listen to some reviews, which says that uh, the bass is not enough, the bass is not good. Let me tell you one thing. The bass is just perfect. Anything above this can never be considered balanced. A balanced sound means that all the levels are perfectly balanced. That's all. And if you listen to any of the one levels dominate the sound, then that means it's not balanced. So usually, typically, uh, many people like to listen to uh, mostly the boom booms and the and the big bass on their headsets or earpieces but those sounds are not balanced you are compromising on the song you are comp compromising on the music so uh, in my opinion uh, these are just perfect and uh, for the price range uh, these are extremely perfect i remember paying 3000 rupees for a sony a couple of years back and uh, they in front of these are uh, just dead they sound dead and uh, the battery backup has been great it has given me an eight to nine hours of playback with a single full uh, charge and uh, and the bluetooth range is also uh, very good you know that any hindrance will affect any bluetooth connectivity so the no hindrance connectivity has been great uh, i think i have uh, said most of the stuff about these wonderful earpieces i got a chance to try and I hope the service is also good uh, in case anyone needs it. And that's all for now. Check the description for the link of the product and hit the subscribe button if you uh, like my efforts on the video. Thanks a lot guys. See ya.